single layer perceptron or shortly perceptron is a legacy structure invented in 50s but it triggered the AI studies deeply for example modern neural network structures are mainly based on perceptrons as well today we are going to build a perceptron step by step we are going to work on AND gate problem this gate returns if and only if both inputs are true let's import numpy first and let's initialize the features of the AND gate problem numpy.array and assign all input candidates here 0 and 0 0 and 1 1 and 0 and finally 1 and 1 now let's create the target labels here and uh, set the related output of the AND gate 0 and 0 returns 0 0 and 1 returns 0 again 1 and 0 returns 0 again and remember that this gate returns if and only if both inputs are true the fourth instance will return 1 that's why remember that weights connect input features to the sum unit that's why let's initialize the weights here suppose that as initial values would be 0 0.9 we can set anything here that's just the initial values and we are going to update these weights in learning we are going to build a for loop for all of those instances for i in range from 0 to uh, length of the features which is features dot shape and set its zero index value let's see the this value here that's four which is the number of instances in feature variable and let's print the features initially I think these are my features let's say this is my instance and at x 0 is equal to 0 index instance similarly x1 is equal to 1 index instance now we are going to multiply inputs these inputs and weights I mean that x0 times 0 index weight plus x1 times 1 index weight that will be my sum unit here I need to check the sum unit is greater than the threshold value let's assign the threshold value here and let's say 0 0.5 you can set anything here again and here i'm going to check if sum unit is greater than the threshold value then fire otherwise don't fire here fire variable stores the prediction of my instance let's print it prediction is fire we can also print here the actual value because labels variables stores the actual value let's get the i index labels value whereas actual was i index labels value as seen 
based on uh, this initial weights I can predict the uh, fourth instance correctly but uh, I cannot predict the second and third instance correctly because predictions were one whereas actual values were zero so I can store the error here in delta variable just like that this is my actual value and, uh, let's initialize the actual value here I can calculate the error just like that actual minus fire let's move the printing line at the end of the for loop and I like to dump the error value here this means that uh, when you see the error value is zero then this line is okay just like in the first and fourth line but the error line is different than the zero then it's not okay I need to update the wave values here here if I update the wave values just like that zero index weight value is equal to its initial value plus delta times learning rate what what's learning rate let's initialize it here you can set it anything between 0 and 1 I would like to set it uh, to 0 0.1 similarly I need to update the 1 index weight value just like that I restart the kernel and clear all outputs here but before this for loop I'm going to create another for loop for j in range from 0 to epoch value and uh, append the top values for all lines here and let's set epoch here for example 20 some sources mention epoch value as learning time let's run the notebook from beginning and activate the printing line and also I'd like to print marker here let's print the epoch value here start the kernel and run all as seen in the final epoch uh, all predictions are correct but notice that actually uh, in epoch 3 all predictions are correct too I should terminate the learning in the step I'm going to create a new variable named global delta and it's equal to absolute value of delta and append the initial value of the global delta but I need to initialize it here and uh, in this level I'm going to check the global delta is equal to zero because all instances are classified correctly then I shouldn't uh, apply learning anymore I can terminate the learning I'm cleaning all outputs and restart the kernel and run all as seen terminated in the fourth block and all instances are classified correctly Please remember the initial weight values which were 0 0.9 and these weights cause some errors in the early epochs and let's see the final weight values 
and these are the final weight values in other words after the learning it's updated with these values I can apply the perceptron uh, for another problem this was the AND gate and uh, I'm going to modify the problem as OR gate problem which is OR gate uh, will return if and only if uh, both of its input are zero I mean that zero or zero will return zero whereas other inputs will return one this is the or gate problem I'm cleaning all outputs again and restart the kernel and run all as seen uh, in the first epoch uh, all instances are classified correctly I can change the initial weight values for example here or for example let's set a very small value as seen uh, in the fourth epoch uh, or gate can classify it correctly for all instances so we mentioned perceptron in this video some sources mention this as single layer perceptron thank you all for watching and see you next time